Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this custom clock. And no, it's not a painting, it's an actual map and item frame. I hope you all enjoy this tutorial and let's get this started. Alright now let's start this so as you see right here I have a gold block and that's what I'm going to be using in the video to count things up with and the cartography table very important you're going to need that to make this happen also find your middle point so if you look on the map I'm dead center dead center of this map as you see here very important that you do that and there's nothing around that's going to make it much easier now you see the size of this map right here it says level 3 slash 4 now 3 slash 4 is the default size so each time you use this put a map here and put a paper here over here is gonna change the size and right here I have the grid so the grid for here 0 slash 4 is zoomed in all the way map size 1 slash 4 2 slash 4 3 slash 4 that's the default size that's what I have here and that's what you're going to need to start this off to make this work so very important you have a 3 slash 4 and then from there is 4 slash 4 and that's zoomed out all the way so once you found your middle point of your map right here I'm in the very center of this map and it's 3 slash 4 what you're going to need to do is have two papers go in your cartography table and you're gonna put this map right here up here and then you're gonna take a paper and put the paper here now from there you over here you're gonna have a map you grab that map out and that map size will be 4 slash 4 and then you're gonna do it one more time and that will be 0 slash 4 so again go back in here put your paper at the bottom put your 4 slash 4 that you have put it up here and then right here you'll end up having the 0 slash 4 right here now that's what you're gonna need for this and again when you find the middle point you need to mark it right here like I have mine that way you can find the very center because when you adjust your maps every time you go into the cartography table you may have a little bit of trouble finding the middle point now my friend Dave his link will be down below Dave Ventura he's the one that kind of taught me how to use his cartography table and yes it can kind of get a little bit confusing so check him out down below so let's go ahead and start this well alright now once you have your map size 0 slash 4 and you have a block down dead center of your map as you see here on level 0 slash 4 and a block down dead center very important to make this much easier for you guys now once you've got that I'm gonna take the lapis here and I'm gonna count 43 blocks this way 43 blocks this way 43 this way and 43 this way alright now once you've added 43 blocks from the center it should look like this now on the map this is what it should look like alright now once you've got that take your white concrete and then go on each end with the white concrete and you're gonna add 17 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 right there and then you're gonna go ahead and make a strip right here and a strip right here make it three wide and once you've got it three wide there take this on down so you've got two blocks right here left and do this side the same way take this on down so right here should be one, two, three, four, five. 
So you're going to do that on all points. So right here, it's going to be 17 going out. Over here, the same. 17. And right over here, the same. 17. All right, now once you have your white concrete, all four points the same, then what we're going to do now is go to each point and we're going to take the stone. We're going to go right here in the middle and add one, two, three, and then take the gold block and come up like this. You're going to do that on all points where the white is. So again, one, two, three, take the gold, come up like that. Now the hardest part of this whole thing, to be honest with you, is getting it dead center. I will say that. All right, this is the last one right here. One, two, three, and come up like that. Now looking at the map, if you go right here on all four points where you have this three stone now looking at the map you see I'm off the map right here where that gold block is that's off the map and then right here I go back on the map that's very important that's how you can see if you're dead center so go on this end right over here on this right here in the middle take your map and you see I am on the outside of the map right here which is at gold block now all four points will be that way with your little icon your player icon will be off the map where the gold block is so that's the whole purpose of the gold block on the ends of the three stone alright now what you're gonna need to do I'm gonna use the block of diamond as you see here, I went ahead and made a half circle here, or a quarter circle. And this is going to be for the uh, other numbers that we're going to do. So I'm going to change this out to make it easy. You're going to make this right off of here. So it'll, it'll come up like this. All right and all four points are going to be the same all the way around now this is going to be one two three four five so it's going to come up right here one two three four and five and then you're going to have one two three four so you're going to come in like this one two three four and then you're going to have a three right here one two and three now you're gonna have one two three four sets of two so there's one set of two two sets of two three and four four sets of two there then you have a single a set of two a single and a set of two so a single a set of two a single and then a set of two all right now once you've got that then you're going to have one two three four five six single diagonal so it's one two three four five and six now I'm doing it this way to try to make it easier for you guys all right now off of here it's gonna be a set of two and then a single set of two all right and then another single And then you're going to have one, two, three, four sets of two. So 
That's one, two, three, and four. All right, now you're gonna have a three, a four, and a five. So right here, three, four, and then a five. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Again, you should come off of right here, just like the other side. So do the same pattern right here that we just done. Do the same thing on all the rest. So right here, it'll come out five so it's one two three four five and so on and it will curve around and connect right over here this will be five so one two three four five and so on so this here will curve over there there will curve over there well, all right now this is what you should have now a full circle looks pretty cool i think what we're going to do now is go ahead and come right down here Take the white concrete. All right. Now, right here, you see we got these sets of two. We got four sets of two right here. And then we have the single right here. All right. Very important that you get this spot on. So, the four sets of two, you're going to come right here and take the white concrete. And place it right here. It's going to be right here before the single. You're going to do the same thing right over here. You're going to do this all the way around. So right here you have one set of two there. Two, three, four. You got four sets of two here. You got the single here. And place the white concrete there same thing all the way around so you got the four sets of two here got the single here place the white there and right over here right over here this all the way around and right over here I hope that this tutorial is easy as possible I know it's hard to get this dead center in the map I had a little bit of trouble with that but that's all part of it I guess so looking down at it as you see this is what it should look like so with the white these here are going to be a total of 13 and they're going to be diagonal. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So go ahead and do each one of these 13. Well, Alright, now this is what you should have now. Looking down at your map, looks awesome. So what we're going to do now is take all these and we're going to make them a little bit fatter. So this here is add two, two here like that. Like this and these are going to be three wide. So one, two, three like that. So you're going to do that all the way up. So pretty much you're just gonna go like this and go ahead and do this on all of them well, alright now this is what you should have I think it looks pretty cool so what we're gonna do now is the minute hand so this is 12 o'clock there that's one that's two and that's three so what we're going to do, take the white concrete, we're going to do the minute hand here, 
and this is going to go right here right off of here replace this center block with stone take this white concrete and this is going to go straight diagonal all the way between one and two so if you've done this right you should have three singles here and three singles here right here in the middle alright now this here is gonna hang off by three like that once you have this then go ahead and double this up and this is gonna be on both sides of this minute hand I hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial. Like I said, I'm trying to make this as simple as possible. Alright, so you should have this for your minute hand. So let's go ahead and do the hour hand. So looking down at it like this, we're going to put the hour hand going down. We're going to have it kind of in between. Uh, Let's see, so that's three, that's four, that's five. We're gonna have it kind of between five and six here. So with the white concrete again, one, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three, one, two, three four five one two three four five and you should end up with two of them right here because as you know the minute hand is longer than the hour hand alright so you have two here left over so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna take this you're going to add two here, two here, two here, and kind of double it up a little bit. Two here, two here, two here, two here, and go on this side of it and add one. Just like this. Now looking down at the map, this is what you should have now. Alright, now let's go ahead and do the second hand, which is going to be out of red concrete. And I am going to go from the center here to the left. And this is going to go all the way down until you have two left from the circle. So it's going to be the same length as the hour hand. Two left here. So looking down at the map, this is what you should have now. Alright, now what we're going to do is go ahead and take out this temporary blocks here. So any of the the blue here also take this out this was only here to help you get the other hands in place so take all this out all right now what you're gonna need to do is go ahead and take the gold now I'm using gold just so that you could see from above to make it a lot easier for you guys so this is gonna go out like this and you're gonna take all the gold spots and you're gonna come out and just connect it up and remember the gold you will not be able to see because it's on the outside of the zoomed in map so it's very important so go ahead and do this all the way around and now once you have that then just go ahead and fill in the entire area inside with black concrete. 
All right, now once you have this filled in with black, this is what you should have. Now, what you need to do is get yourself a glass pane. Go into the cartography table, grab your map that looks really awesome, go into the cartography table, place this map that you got up here. Then get the glass pane, it can't be a, a stained glass pane, it has to be a regular. Put it in there like this, grab this out, and what that will do is it will lock the map. As you see right down there it says locked. Now once it's locked, anything that happens on this will never change on this locked map. Now once you've got that, I highly suggest you to put this inside of an ender chest. That way nobody can take it from you. And also you could turn this inside the item frame to make it a different time. So hopefully you all enjoyed this tutorial and if you did hit that like. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.